Hello, in this video, I will be going over the pet AI component that I made, which allows you to easily add a pet to your project. You can command it in various different ways, and you can even easily replace the default model that this project comes with, with your own custom one. In this video, I'm going to go over how to transfer the Doc AI asset pack to your own custom Unreal Engine projects. To get started, you're going to want to open up a copy of the Doc AI asset pack and also open up a copy of the um, project that you want to transfer the Doc AI asset pack to. So I've created this blank project, which I'm going to use as an example in this video. Once you have both of those projects open, go to the Doc AI asset pack project, go to the content drawer and just select the pet dog folder, right click and go to migrate and then select OK. Then find the project that you want to transfer the asset to. To find the project, just go to your Unreal projects and then find the project. So I called my project dog transfer, open it up and then select the content folder of the project you want to transfer it to, then go select folder. This will transfer all of the folders from this project to um, the project that you want it to. Then we just want to go over to the content drawer, go to the third person and find the character that's going to be commanding the dog. So I'm in a third person template, so I'm just going to open up the BP third person character. We just want to go to components and go add and look for the dog command component. This allows us to command a dog. And then if we just go back to the original dog project, and go over to the demo folder and to the third person BP and open up the third person character. We can just copy um, these nodes here. So this basically allows us to open up the um, radial menu, which allows us to control the dog. And it also just allows us to basically command the dog with the left mouse button. Just press control C, go to the dog, um, to the project you want to transfer. And just paste this in the character that's going to be controlling the dog. We can just compile this close this and then inside of this project we just want to go over to the pet dog folder find the blueprint folder and drag in the dog blueprint and also just drag in the tennis ball then in order to make it so the dog can move around we just want to go to quickly add things to the project and we want to find all classes and just look for the nav i mean this one the nav mesh bounce volume this basically allows ai to move around in unreal engine press the peak to see um, the area that it can move around in and then just go to select and scale objects and just scale this across the whole of the map that way the dog can move across the whole of the map and then this dog will basically automatically be assigned to us if I go play we can see the dog comes up to me I can press the alt button it'll bring up all the commands I have so I can make it sit down and the dog will sit down I can make it bark and the dog will bark my um, speakers are a bit loud so you probably didn't hear the audio I can play fetch with it. So with fetch, you just want to select the tennis ball. It'll bring it up in your hand and then you can throw it. The dog will run over towards the ball and it will fetch it for us. So the dog will pick it up. Once it has the ball, it will come back to us with the ball in its mouth. Then I'll drop it. And then we can play fetch again if you want to do that. And um, with that, we basically transfer the dog to, our, to your custom project. Hello, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the original model that comes in the Dog AI asset pack with your own custom model. For this example, I'm going to be using a dog model that I found on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So, to get started, we're first going to create an animation blend space and an animation blueprint for our new dog model. So, I'm just going to right click inside of this folder, go animation, then select legacy, then select blend space 1D. Then I'm going to select this German Shepherd Scanton. This is the um, dog model that I want to replace it with. 
and I'll just call this my um, German Shepherd blend space 1D. Inside of the blend space for the model that you are creating, we're going to need the idle animation, so I'm just going to look for that. And we're also going to want the running animation. Place the idle animation where it's zero, and then place the running animation where it's at 100. So I'll just look for this run, and I'll place it at 100. Then if you just press the control button, we can see the um, animation transition between its idle and its running. We can save this and close this. Then if we just right click and go animation and create an animation blueprint, select the um, scanton of the new dog model that you want to replace. And I'll just call this my German Shepherd animation blueprint. Open it up and then briefly close this and go over to the pet dog folder, to the dog folder, to the animations folder, and open up the dog animation blueprint. And we just want to copy everything inside of the event graph. So I'm just gonna select it, press Control C, then go over to the German Shepherd animation blueprint and go over to the event graph. We can delete this and just press Control V to paste everything, then click compile and just right click on this variable Make it a variable, make this a variable, make this a variable, and also make this a variable. Then just go compile. Then we want to go over to the animation graph, right click and look for state machine, drag up here and look for default slot, and connect this into here. Then head inside this state machine, then go back to the dog animation blueprint, and go over to the animation graph, and head inside the state machine and just copy everything then just paste it here and connect into here then go to the dog um, blend space 1d delete this and replace it with the german or whatever your blend space that you created and just connect it into here and this into here then we go back to the new state machine head to the dog sit down animation so this should be the animation of your dog sitting down i'm just going to head inside here delete this and find my dog sitting down so we want the transitioning from standing to sitting so this should be an animation of your dog in its standing animation transitioning to its sitting animation so I'll just connect this here then for the sitting animation this should just be an animation of your dog sitting so I will head inside here and just drag in one of the sitting animations and then for the stand-up animation, this should be an animation of your dog going from a sitting animation to a standing up idle animation. So I'll head inside here, delete this, and then find the transition from sitting to standing animation. Then we just want to go to this um, little thing here, head inside here, and just delete it. And instead, right click and look for time remaining. And we want this one, time remaining of whatever your animation is called. So mine's called transitioning from standing to sitting. And just connect that into here go to the new state machine and then head to this one and delete it and we just want to right click and look for time remaining and we want time remaining sitting to standing and connect this into here then if i just click compile and i select the sitting if i click this is sitting variable it should make the dog do a sitting animation then it'll enter the sitting animation and if i just uncheck this the dog should do a stand up animation then transition back to its dog blend space 1d so with that we have set up the animation blueprint for our dog we can just compile this close this and then we just want to go over to the dog blueprint folder go to the viewport select the dog mesh and just change this to be um, whatever your new dog is and for the animal class, make it use whatever the animation blueprint is. Just compile, close, and go play. We are almost done. There are just a couple things we need to do. You may notice the dog uh, is kind of flickering between its idle and running animation. That looks a bit weird. And some commands like the fetch and the bark aren't going to work. But commands like the go and the sit down and the follow. All these commands will work so let's go over how to 
fix the other settings. So in order to fix the transitioning of our dock between its idle and its running animation, if you just go over to the German Shepherd blend space or your dog's blend space and look for weight and sorry, I think we want sample. Yeah, sorry, we want this one, sample smoothing. And for the weight speed, I found a value of five works pretty well. And this will just make it so it transitions between our dog's idle and its running animation a lot smoother. So as you can see, this is a lot smoother. Depending on your model, you may need to play around with this value, but I found in general, a value of five works pretty well. Next, let's make it so our dog can bark and also fetch. So if we just go over to your um, dog's animation folder, find an animation of the dog barking. So I think this has a attack. Okay, so I found an animation of my dog barking. This works pretty well. Just right click on it and go create and create animation montage. And also just find an animation of your dog bending down as if it's about to pick something up. Okay, so I don't have an animation of my dog um, bending down to pick something up, but I found this animation of it looking down. This will be um, good enough. So we just want to right click on this animation and go create, create animation montage. I just call this fetch. And then for the fetch animation montage, we just want to keep this on open and then find the pet dog animation folder and find the fetch montage and just select this pick up ball and just copy it. Then go back to your dog's fetch animation montage and then where in the specific animation do you want the dog to pick up the ball? Just paste that notify. So I'm going to just paste it here. Then we can just save this, close this, and then we just want to go to the blueprint folder and then go to the behavior tree folder and open up the dog behavior tree. Go over to the bark task and for the bark, um, just change it to be the bark animation montage of your new dog. Then go over to the fetch task and just change the fetch animation montage to be the one of our new one. And then one more thing with fetching, I make it so the ball will go into the dog's uh, mouth. Depending on your dog model, you may want to move this location. So I'll just show you how to change that. If we go over to the dog blueprint folder, open it up and just go to the skeletal mesh asset. So I'll click this search button and it'll take me to the skeletal mesh asset. And I just want to find its mouth. So I'm just going to select its tongue bone. And I'm just going to right click and go add socket. And we can just call this ball. Then if we just right click and go add preview asset and look for the tennis ball. And I'm just going to rotate it. So this is going to be the position of the um, tennis ball when the dog picks it up. So something like this is fine. We can save this. And then if I go back to my um, dog blueprint, select the mouth and then for the parent socket, just make it the ball. And as you can see, I'll move to the dog's own mouth. Then if I just go compile, close this and go play. Um, my dog's um, transitioning animation should be a bit smoother. If I press the bark command, it'll play its um, bark animation montage. If I select the fetch command, pick up the ball and then throw it. The dog will run over to it. This doesn't really have a fetch animation, so it didn't really do it, but then it will pick up the ball and then the ball will go to its mouth and then it will come and drop the ball right in front of me. And then one um, quick thing that you may want to adjust. So when the dog sits down and then I change it to uh, follow me, in the last second, it kind of slides towards me. Um, I don't want that. And it's an easy way we can adjust that. If we just go over to the dog blueprint folder, open up the dog command component and go over to this set dog mode. And here I basically have a delay for when it's in its sitting down animation. If I make this of like two seconds, so it's a bit longer, that'll basically mean it's going to take two seconds for my dog to basically transition from a sitting down animation to any other animation and that should prevent the sliding so if i just go sit down and then 
follow it won't slide so it'll just be a bit smoother so you may need to increase or delay that depending on the speed of your animation or of course you can just increase or decrease the speed of your animation so uh, that's all oh and i almost forgot one more thing if you want to change the images that are on the radial menu i'll just go over how to do that now because right now i've set it to be this low poly dog image if you want to change it just go over to the pet dog folder find the menu open up the dog menu widget blueprint and if you just go over to the graph and go over to this spawn icon images um, bit basically here is where i set the images for the radial menu so if you wanted to change the barking animation image you'll change this one here this attack underscore t image if you wanted to replace the sitting down um icon you will replace this one and if you wanted to replace the move to icon, you would replace this one, and so on, and so on. So there are only one, two, three, four, five, six. So in total, I think there are like seven commands that you can give the dog. And here's where you basically change the images if you wanted to do that.